Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be learning about logical operators, a little double pipe and the double ampersand and the exclamation mark. But first, a lot of people are understanding Java a lot better with my course. So if you wanna understand Java, you can check out my full Java course link down below. Let's start learning about logical operators in Java by just making a new Java project. We'll call it logic, hit finish, and then in there, we'll make a class, a logic again, with a main method and finish. So there are a lot of different operators in Java. Those are just the little symbols like plus, equals, minus. The ones we're talking about today are the double pipe, the double ampersand, and then the exclamation mark, which are the logical operators. An example of this would be if we have a Boolean variable here, say it's called A, and then we have some something that results in true or false on the right. If we just print this out, we will get true because A is set to true and we're printing A. Now let's go one by one through these operators. And let's start with double pipe. I know this looks confusing right now, but it's really, really simple. Double pipe means or, double ampersand means and, and exclamation mark means not. Do you read this as true or true. Boolean A is the result of this. If this is true or this is true, then A will be true. So if we save and run this, we'll get true. If this is false, it'll still be true because this one is. Just one of them has to be true. It's or. So if this was or false or false, again, you can stack these as much as you want as long as this entire thing ends in true or false, and then each one of these little ones ends in true or false, it'll work. So this will still be true because just one of them is true. If this was false and they're all false, this would be false because it's like false or false or false or false. Well, we didn't see any true, so it's not gonna work. I'll come back for more examples, but let's move on to and for now. So let's change this to and delete this, save and run, this is false. And means both of them have to be true. So if we have true, true, it'll be true. But if just one of them is off, it won't be. And finally, the exclamation mark, it gives you the opposite. So if we put this whole thing in parentheses here, not true and false, or actually let's make this a little easier to understand here. So if we say not true, what this will do is give false. If we say not false, then it'll be true. So you can stack these with parentheses. So for example, if we have true or false here, let's take a second and think about what this will return. Remember, just one of these has to be true. Either this one or this one. Since this one is, then this whole thing is true. Next, we take the opposite. This means not. So we could say not true. Not true is false, which is why when we run, we get false. I think this is a little easier to understand with numbers. So let's make some numbers up here, say integer variables. We'll say a is equal to three and b is equal to four. Let's change this Boolean name to C to make it a little sequential. Here we can use comparative operators with numbers and we can start off with something really simple like is A greater than B? Save and run. We will get false because A is three, B is four. This results in false, which is why we get false. Let's practice or, and, and not on this. So let's say we have this and we have or, True. Boolean C is equal to the result of this entire thing. On the left side, we have false. On the right side, we have true. Either this one or this one can be true and it'll result in true. Since this one's true, the whole thing is true, which is why when we run it, we'll get true. If this was false, since both are false, we'll get false. Let's try and. For this one, both of them have to be true. So we'll change this one to true. Save and run. Both of them still aren't true. 
if we say a is less than b, then that would make this side true, which would in turn mean that both of these sides are true. Let's do a not here. This whole thing right here results in true, as we've seen here. A is less than B, and then just this true here. We could take that whole thing and make it not, and then that'll give us false. Or another thing we could do is we could say not this and true. So we can really stack a lot of logic like this. And in the real world, you won't really do it like this on the side of a Boolean, but you would really use it for a lot of if statements. So we can say, for example, if A is less than B and some other condition, maybe um, we'll have a Boolean called like is sunny, like the weather. We'll set that equal to true right now for this example. I'll delete this for now. So we can say if A is less than B and is sunny, then we can print out maybe it's gonna be a good day. Say, oh, I need a semicolon. Those rascals, save and run. We see it's gonna be a good day because A is less than B and is sunny is true. Sometimes you might need to stack these a lot. So you can get really deep and say like, if this section is true or some other section is true, maybe say um, am sad, maybe that's false. And we'll have am sad. And you don't have to make all these weird complications. Usually the simpler, the better, but you can stack these. Let's change this to am happy to make sense with the having a good day. And let's, for example, say that is sunny is false. And let's save and run this. We don't get anything printed out. Now let's go line by line of why this happened. So when we click the green run button, we run code in the main method. We've got some comments here to help us out, some variables being set up, and we hit this if statement. If what's in this entire parentheses is true, then we'll run this code. We see one chunk in parentheses or this side. If this is true or this is true, this entire thing would be true and we'd run the code. So let's see if the left side is true first. And here we have A is less than B and is sunny. That means both of these have to be true in order for this whole side to be true. A is less than B, three is less than four, so that's true. Now let's check this side is sunny is false. This whole side is false because they both have to be true. So now we could basically replace this whole side with false. And we read this as false or am happy. Am happy is also false. So we can read this whole thing as false or false. Only one of these has to be true in order to run this code, but since neither of them are true, it doesn't get run at all. And that's why we don't have anything here. It can get kind of tricky when you get into like the details of this and then like true, false, not, or, and neither, but you'll get used to it and it becomes a lot more simple. So again, if you want to understand Java a lot better, check out my full Java course linked down below. Thanks, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.